Hi, I'm Erin Richards and I'm here to talk to you about Gotham. So we've got Mr. Freeze coming back, um, we've got Galavan who will be turning into Azrael, uh, which is going to be really exciting, and then we've got all of the kind of villains that you already know kind of coming back with, uh, with a vengeance. Yeah, Barbara is well into the dark side at the moment in season two. Um, she's come a long way, I mean she started as Jim Gordon's fiance and she was, she had her problems but she was definitely a good person and then throughout the first series right at the end she got sort of manipulated and tricked and brainwashed into, um, into killing her parents. Jim is her kind of the one thing in her life that could bring her back from the dark side. He's like her only kind of means of redemption. When we come back this series, she's going to obviously be in the coma and then she'll wake up and the question will be like, is she good or bad? And she's going to be still like attached to Jim, but even more desperately this time because not only does she kind of need his love, but she sort of needs some way back from this dark space that she's in. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to be bad. Um, I get to just have the, the best time with Barbara because I get to do what everybody wants to do in their everyday life, which is just say what is exactly on their mind or do exactly what they want to do. But unfortunately, you know, we're kind of restricted by society's rules or, you know, feeling like you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings in, in real life, which is a good thing. But Barbara would just go ahead and say it, you know. If she didn't like what you were wearing, she would just tell you that she didn't like what you were wearing. So I really like that kind of, um, her, the aspect of her that's just totally free, you know. And I don't know if you saw what Kanye West wrote recently on his Twitter, but he said, I'm not crazy, I'm just free. And he stole that directly from Barbara.